Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. This is Marilyn Gale. A bit of bad news. Diane Carroll died Friday at the age of 84. Now Diane Carroll, who pioneered television with her starring role in the 1968 series, Julia, died Friday. Her daughter Suzanne K. confirmed to CNN. Carroll was 84. She died early Friday following a battle with breast cancer, according to her publicist, Jeffrey Lane. Known as much for her talent as she was her beauty and elegance, Carol was beloved for her work in Julia, as well as her subsequent performance as the wealthy and cultured Dominique Devereaux in the 1980s ABC primetime soap opera, dynasty. She became the first African-American woman to star in a network sitcom not revolving around a stereotypical character when Julia premiered on NBC in 1968. Her role as widowed nurse Julia Baker, who was raising a charming young son, also broke ground for his portrayal of a black woman as something other than a domestic worker. But while some called Julia groundbreaking for his non-stereotypical premise, others criticized the show for what they saw as a simplified depiction of the black experience in America in the late 1960s. In 1998, Carol told the Television Academy Foundation she was reluctant to do this series. I really didn't believe that this was a show that was going to work, she said of Julia. I thought it was something that was going to relieve someone's conscience for a very short period of time, and I really thought, let them go elsewhere. The series earned her an Emmy nomination and a Golden Globe Award. Her character, the previously referenced Dominique Devereaux, which she also played on the spinoff, the, the Colbys, served as an antagonistic antagonist to Alexis Carrington, played by Joan Collins. In an interview, her first day on the set in 1984, Carol said she wanted to be the first black bee on television. I've never played a role quite this unlikable, she said, and I like that. I like that very much because I think very often, particularly minorities, it's almost required of them that they are nice people. Carol's personal life was no less glamorous. She was married four times to record producer Monte K. from 1956 to 1963, during which time they had a daughter, Suzanne. Briefly to Las Vegas boutique owner Fred Glusman in 1973. To Jet Magazine manager, ed, managing editor Robert De Leon from 1975 until his death two years later in a car crash. And to singer Vic Damone from 1987 to 1996. In the 1990s, Carol won a new legion of fans playing Whitney Gilbert's mother, Marion, on A Different World. And I think most people will remember her for that. And the new millennium found Carol appearing on multiple TV shows, including Grey's Anatomy and Diary of a Single Mom. Her last credited role was Miss Etna in 2016 film, The Mask Saint. Carol is survived by her daughter and her grandson, August and Sydney. Now, I think it said in the article, she also played in Carmen Jones. Remember that movie? She played Carmen Jones and she... Um, it was a, a, a black opera. And not only did she act, she sang in that in her voice. It really showed her range. 
that she was able to sing. And every now and then when I see it on um, the uh, classic channel, uh, I'll stop and watch that because that is one of my favorite um, classic films, Carmen Jones. And uh, uh, who played in that? Um, Gosh, I can't even remember now. Guys, uh, refresh my memory. I had it on the tip of my tongue ready for this podcast, but I cannot remember. Um, Oh, gosh. Uh, Pearl Bailey. Pearl Bailey played in it, which Pearl Bailey is... um, is uh, one of the main characters also. Let me tell you a little bit, not to get off track, but uh, I went to Disneyland. My 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 youngest son was maybe about two years old, and Pearl Bailey's husband was uh, a drummer, and uh, my my son was going across the dance floor, you know, uh, while the uh, band was playing, and Pearl Bailey caught eye of my son and tried to get him to uh, come to her. And, you know, that's Pearl Bailey. So I said, go, go, go to Miss Bailey, go to Miss Bailey. But, he, you know, at two, he wasn't having it. He didn't know her. But anyway, uh, back to, uh, this is about uh, Diane Carroll. Um, she, as, uh, I, she just had a long standing career. Uh, mostly, I remember her for the acting more so than her singing but she had a beautiful beautiful voice and i just wanted to bring this to you guys uh also that she um died of breast cancer and october is uh breast cancer awareness month so I'm, i particularly wanted to bring this uh, a lot of you guys may not know her but google her Google her. You will be so surprised. Those who have not heard of her, you know, those of you that are too young to really know her accomplishments, you will be surprised of all the things she was involved with and her talents and her and uh, her um, range, of, uh, actually her range of talents and her range of sing- singing voice. So, my condolences to her family, her um, daughter and her her grandchildren, August and Sydney. My condolences to you and may Diane Carroll rest in peace. Thank you for joining me, everyone, and have a good evening. Good night. <music>